And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelian Soul Leona going to be our next deck. This is a donation deck uh, focused around the invoke mechanic in Targon and playing almost all Targon cards. We got 37 Targon cards, just three single combats to give us a little bit of very good removal as our splash. Um, but yeah, we're going to be invoking a bunch. We got Mountain Scryer in here making our Celestial cards cost less mana. Of course, all the Daybreak stuff to be able to go with Leona and play some good defense with Leona, Robin, and things like that because we want to get to our top end. Our top end being, of course, Eclipse Dragon, Aurelian Soul. These cards are amazing, amazingly powerful. And so our deck's going to be able to play a super late game and have a whole bunch of Invoke stuff to help us out. Uh, we got a couple of Hush in here, um, some early Invokes with some Spacey Sketchers. And that's kind of our deck list. So let's give this a try. All right, so we're gonna go play five games in ranked. This, of course, is another uh, viewer submitted donation deck that we have going on. Let's see how how the invoke cards are doing these days. So a couple of two threes so far today. Let's hopefully get a three two and turn that around. That would be nice. None of these cards are, are bad, necessarily. We're going to get rid of the Mountain Scryer, I guess, because it's it's under... Uh, the, the body size is a little too small. But I, I kind of like all these tricks, though. I think that, that having spells is really important against Shen Fiora. Now, I know I don't have any... Um... Raise your weapon, don't really have any units, but we can find units. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I I knew I should not have played the Solari Soldier. So I can play Hush to kill their Flea Feather Tracker, but it's just a Flea Feather Tracker. I want to use Hush on something more valuable. You know, Fiora or Shen. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Water changes but never breaks. Okay, I like that serpent being zero mana. I'll be good. Help us catch up. The balance requires a watchful eye. Our sun will not set today. All right, we do not have any other Zenith Blades to go grab in our deck. But that's our third Daybreak card already for Leona. I feel like this hush is going to be pretty good. I could just let damage happen actually just like this and then they don't get to play any spells. This is the wrong path. No, we're going to block over here. Okay. They still did not play a spell. The dawn has arrived. May it never leave. Behold the divine power of the sun! So you know their hand's pretty loaded over there. Lots of spells. Hey, what's up, Drewski? Did you, oh, did you just subscribe? Who's the one that I want to a single combat? Honestly, I think... Uh, I kind of want to take out Shen, but... It's just safer to do this from, like, their pump spells. Long path 
to get you. Feel the sun's glory. Don't know if they're going to play anything first before combat, but if they don't, I take like nine. So I can play this to, to stun the Scythria. I guess it's the Scythria. Just hits for the most. And the Shen's pretty rough too, though. Pretty unfortunate. I know these paths well. I missed the allegiance. There's only one single combat left in the entire deck. We had already drawn two. I missed the allegiance. Well, they all say behold. Because like if if just our mountain scar would have hit, then you know even like after this would happen, I would be able to You're supernova. Our wills align. Right, so we're at one. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now. River shape the land and give it life. Bask in her radiant blessing. If only Fiora see me now. She can. She's not impressed. Um. So I can play Supernova, but then that's the only one I can only thing I can play. Or I play Shield Bear and Golden Sister and get three things to block. I guess I have to do that. Clad in shining sunlight. They they can make it so I don't gain any life from the life steal with, you know, bear bearing. How do you say that? Bearer? Barrier ing. You're covered. Duty. Selflessness. <laughs> Barrier-ing the Fiora on the attack. Now is one. Descend upon them. I don't know what the odds are that they play something before attacking. Well, that's what I need them to do. Can't so I go. really imagine they do that. You're in over your head. The other thing is we could have drawn like a hush maybe. But then that you know that also would have been dependent on how they set up. Nothing stands in our way. This attack gives us a chance. No, never mind. GG zone one. Okay, let's, get, let's play some Ash Frostbite. It's a good deck. I like these first three. 
Don't know about Spacey Sketcher. I'm just going to keep it, though. It's not necessarily a bad card. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Uh, it's top top 700, not top 800, Delphinus. It's 700. And I think until December 4th, I believe. But I'm not 100% sure. I think December 4th. Oh, opponent, where are you at? Not and ready. Okay, we'll turn a Solari Soldier into a Trickster. I like that. Ooh, you're interesting. I love this trade. I... Why... Why would they attack there? I guess. I don't know. I guess they like that trade too. Alright, we'll have our elusive Trickster. Hmm. Down to 12. I was kind of expecting like Culling Strike on the Trickster. I will unite the Frail Lord. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. As the arrow flies. Of course, we're blocking. I should Frostbite the Trickster, and then we'll have the Solari Soldier to block. The guilty will bend. Hmm. Troll Chant was the thing that saved him, but that's all right. We still traded a one mana Solari Soldier for a Troll Chant. Not bad. If they would have had just, like, Elixir of Iron, we could have had Hush. And if they would have had just, like, Brittle Steel, we again could have had Hush. Let's simply attack for three. Try to put them down to nine. What time is it? All right, Kato's very scary. Yeah, Kato's very scary. That thing attacks for a ton. Swiftly now. Daylight everlasting. Solari control. Ooh, another sunburst. Robin's pretty sweet. Robin's very good. Another three. Down to six. A chill in Got. the air. I think I think the reason to do that is to set up reckoning, right? Like that's what I, I think that they want to do. Is let's get ready to reckon. I'm gonna try to kill this five five overwhelm. And then if they go Reckoning, I have single combat, my Trickster, and add. Could simply just have Culling Strike. Ah, uh, I still get to Reckon. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, this thing's gonna die anyway. We'll just have it kill the ash. Get my five-five back. All right, and then they have Glory Seeker. I have Robin. Those two kind of trade. We each have three cards. We have three little invoke cards oh, and one very big card. We have five mana after this. Falling Comets best card, but I'll just take it. Bask in her radiant blessing. Glory. Face me. Down to ten. Hmm. So next turn 
the uh, nine mana. I'm, pl I'm planning on playing Priestess into Falling Comet, which I guess I could have. I guess I could have played Traveler into Falling Comet, or you know, like the other way around. We'll let Falling Comet take out the five five Overwhelm, and in case they have another thing like Trefarian Glory Seeker or something like that. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. You could see them holding another reckoning right now. Line up. Serpent rises, poised to strike. Devotion through battle. Where is this? Pale Cascade going. I can put it on one of these things to try to kill them, you know, because they're at this would be putting them down to two. Um, good chance Frostbite cards. I can put it on here to try to kill the 4 3. I guess I don't really need to try to kill the 4 3. Let's put it on the Mountain Scryer. Keep the Mountain Scryer from getting star shaping or getting cooling striked. Wow, that worked. Wow, that worked. How about that? I don't know what they could have in hand. They just weren't doing anything. It had to have been like reckonings. Maybe they had two reckonings. No. Oh. Playing some deep. No. Oh. I'm gonna just keep the mountain scryer and the mulligan and everything else. Don't really like the rest of these starting off with the rest of these. Ooh, this hand doesn't look great either. Uh Jaw Hunters makes Mountain Scryer not as good, but I was hoping to, you know, maybe have some other stuff first. Okay. And round. I don't think that the attack for three is that great. Where I'd rather have this thing be back on defense. Clad in shining sunlight. Okay, so I, I missed out on three points of damage. I was thinking, you know, they'd have like a 3 2 lifesteal and or jaw hunters, and wanted to have that thing on defense. Burn away, doubt. Okay, I'm glad it's not Maokai. Falling Comet. Welcome to the party. I do have enough mana, you know, like it's it's very slow, but I have enough to play Mountain Scryer and then play Fallen Comet. Drewski, there you go. Drewski with the resub, five awesome months. Hitting our sub goal. Oh, and then also gifting out a sub. I'll start with one towards the sub goal for tomorrow. Thanks, Drewski. I'll get some hype votes in the chat. For Drewski. All right, let's get another Mountain Scryer. Start making these things cost two less. Which two less is a perfect amount of mana for this Moon Glow. Just have a zero mana Moon Glow. I kind of like that. All right, gonna get rid of this. Get rid of one of these landmarks. They're not tossing as fast. Robin or Leona. Warriors of the Raharat, our time is now. We'll follow you to the edge of daybreak. Ah, they did have Maokai. They did have Maokai. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Oh. 
Alright, let's stun the Jaw Hunters. And look for another Fallen Comet. Cool. Let's take out Maokai. Pretty close to going deep. My plan is to just stun a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe Maokai's not that bad. I have nine mana. Don't need the other two. That's too bad. Sunlight burns in our weapons. No Nautilus this turn. So that's good. Gotta discard one of these. I guess I kind of think I have to discard an Eclipse Dragon. So I think I want to keep the other Spacey Sketcher. Also, I'm sorry, Eclipse Dragon. Serpent. Perfect. Or would I rather have a 4 1 Overwhelm? No, I guess I'd rather have Serpent. Stuns the 7-7, seven, seven. the Serpent will take the 1-1, one, one. so Maokai will be their only blocker. I guess I should have put that on the Solari Priestess to make Solari Priestess a 4-5. Yeah, I should have done that. Um, let's see. Because this is, yeah, it's only 19, they can go down to 1. They can block the 3-3 three, three and go to 1 and keep Maokai alive. That's fine, I guess. God, thief. Okay, no, don't want to go to one. Alright, this is where it's going to be difficult to uh, stay alive, because now they're deep, now they can play a Nautilus, play a bunch of other stuff. They got some huge sea monsters now. So I have four extra mana besides that. By taking this, I am setting up for another Nautilus plus... Nautilus plus Atrocity? Nah. I'm not gonna be able to play you Eclipse Dragon, I'm sorry. Okay, stun two. That could be good. And here's where I paint my constellation.
Really hoping for no ruination, of course. Hmm. Good card. I was kind of thinking like there's gonna be like maybe atrocity kill my Leona. It keeps them from stunning stuff, but that was also a fairly effective card. We'll see. I feel pretty good about this one with having yeah, you know, like both those things stunned. And then I got a fallen comet. In case of a Nautilus. Yeah, this one's looking good. I'm not sure exactly what they're gonna have now to save them. Oh, Devourer. Okay, so Devourer is a 7-7, seven, seven, so I need to heal... heal my Robin. And then attack out. There we go, GG's. All right, two and one. Morning light. Leona's champion spell getting it done. Um, Spaces Catcher gives you that versatility. It was good, even though I feel bad for discarding those Eclipse Dragons. But that game just didn't didn't need the Eclipse Dragon. Okay, I will keep all of this. No, let's get rid of Sketcher. They, this deck obviously kills one health thing super easily in a large variety of ways. So I ended up passing with this spell cascade. mean to them not to let me play something first and then have Pill Cascade with the Nightfall enabled afterwards. Yeah, I think I think it makes smart to play some Gangplank in here. I think gang, Gangplank's very good. I think it helps finish games out. I kind of want to go Meteor Shower because I think I may be able to kill two things with Meteor Shower. Falling Comets just really... Not... Yeah, I think it's either Meteor Shower or Traveler. Like, Falling Comets just another one of these. I guess I'll, I'll grab Traveler. Kind of matchup we gotta be able to play a very long game. Worry about Leona two. Scourge is just a little too expensive. I'm always up for a round or two. Eyes open. Good single combat. Gotta get Twisted Fate out of there. Can't let that thing level up. They're drawing a lot of these go hard super fast. That's already three, so the next one's pack your bag, so I have to really watch out with this. Um, Golden Sister. Uh, definitely just attacking 
right away, maybe trade off some cards first. I kind of forgot that wasn't a 3 1 anymore. Well, too late now. Dead men tell my Okay, so that levels up Leona, so Le Leona will be a 4-6. Of course, just playing Leona would have leveled up Leona as well. But Leona's going to be a... F the notable thing is Leona, of course, is going to be a 4-6, so won't die to uh, go hard immediately. I guess that's the problem. Man, Golden Sister is awesome, but one mana, <laughs> kill your Golden Sister. Uh, not great. I'm gonna go past turn. I am the bulwark against darkness. The power of the immortal sun. Hopefully, the dogs are done barking. Normally we'd be playing Golden Sister here and very happy about it, but <clears throat> I kind of need to wait till after they play Packer Bags. We play in bilge rules, son. So with all the cards they drew, they definitely have Packer Bags. Wait a minute. I would not mind them using pack your bags to kill my Leona. That would be okay with me. Because I just want to play Golden Sister afterwards. So good. I guess I just wasn't quite patient enough. So playing this first, this will make my Golden Sister 6-5. Oh, another salvage. That's pretty awesome. I want them to, you know, just play like more of like the small things to make my cosmic rays better. Now I basically get to do one of those two, either um, Golden Sister or Cosmic Rays. That was really nice. They got to just spend mana and not commit anything to the board. You know, it's not like they were, you know, like they weren't even playing like Twisted Fader, Zap, Sprayfin, or anything like that to draw. I know these paths well. Let's 
serpent awakens to pursue the fearful. God, isn't it? Daylight star will rule the skies. As though day and night are not equal. Alright, well the good news is we basically tapped them out. Deal me in. Blue as the serpentine. Take another golden sister. Start this all over, and then pack your bags. The old cosmic lizard. A dragon, madam. Yeah, card's pretty good. Single combat is like our, our best draw right now. Uh, they have it. Because that's not the card they just drew off Sap Spray Thin, so unless they drew Glimpse Beyond, we have seen them have Glimpse Beyond in their deck. They did draw Glimpse Beyond. Okay, I almost conceded, and then I realized, well, they could have drawn Glimpse Beyond. Please don't draw it, please don't draw it, please don't draw it, let me go, no. They had it. Yeah. That card is brutal. Honestly, who loses with a space dragon on their side? Hey, talk GGs. That deck is making uh, these Fight spells are just, just fast speed removal spells. More important. Single combats, where were you? I'm gonna keep them. Priestess is Fiora food. But single combat's super important to have. We did have our Mountain Scryer miss, even though we had already drawn two single combats before, we did have our Mountain Scryer miss on our, our third Demacia card in our deck. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. I'm going to take the warrior, which can match up against these other two. I was hoping to do the, get the deal four, deal one now with seeing Flea Feather Tracker. Bask 
in her radiant blessing. We'll take a traveler. I've got your back. I never hold back. Oh god. Daylight surrounds you. I don't necessarily want to just throw down the warrior. By Let the them know about it. Dawn speakers. Okay, that card is good. this works I wonder if they have like single combat right now they're thinking about using somehow yeah that's what it feels like they could either go like this way or that way yep this will be quick. all right so Fiora's is gonna be a 4-4 now That did not work out bad for us. That worked out pretty good. Uh, especially, you know, like they have not very many cards left. Nope. The dawn has Alright, we'll stun this Fiora. This has worked out pretty well so far. And I think I just passed. I think I'm just going to hold both of these Solari soldiers. Or stunning for next turn. Eternal. Well, seven mana, we can do like. For soldiers worth ten foes. You know, stun, stun. Warrior. Stun, stun, traveler. And then have both single combats available or single combat plus pale cascade. Bless the people and fear the I like that. Bask in the lights yeah, Robin and Leona together, and then more Daybreak stuff is pretty brutal. Oh, that all spells cost one more. Not cool. War is everlasting. Oh. I will shield my people as War long as I draw breath. Punish transgressions. Feel the sun's glory. But still, I want to get Dawn Speakers out of here instead of Stony Suppressor. Shield up. Do not forget. Press on. I fight for the fallen. Dawn speakers, whenever they have some something dies, it gives all of their things per, all the rest of their things a permanent plus one plus one. Deal four, deal one. Serpent. Argon's history is in each stone and star. A crown guard never falters. Hmm. That's a little annoying. All right, so they'll have Fiora kill my Mountain Spryer. That is going to be kill number three with Fiora. I could have killed the, Fi you know, I could have stopped that by killing the Fiora, which maybe I should have just done instead of killing the four five. The thing is, even though it can get kill number three here, I'm not like I feel pretty confident to keep it from getting kill number four. 
with, you know, one card. Double single combat. They can't play anything. They only have one mana. Stony Suppressor makes things cost more anyway, so like... So there we go. Playing this 2 1 is just like a little blocker here. That 8 8. No we should be good. Open your eyes. And this game should be over anytime. Always two steps ahead. So leveled up Fjord does have to re does reset. Has to kill four things again. So this is a rally. This is a rally. We just take eleven. We'll block these other two things. A concerted strike. Well, that'll happen. So it doesn't. So that means my Aurelian Soul is not going to level up. I do love an audience. Oh yeah, because it's at twenty three, so I could have used the Pill Cascade to level up. I was just thinking about like the you know, like could the Pill Cascade save Leona and stuff, I didn't think about the Pill Cascade level up over Lane Soul, but Still, from that point, it was, you know, it was garbage time, basically. It was formalities the rest of the game. I don't think my opponent had any chance left, and so, you know, it's just... That would have been the best play, to level up a really insult like that. Um, but, you know, like, we were just going to have enough, you know, level up a really insult the next turn, and that game was over. All right, so there we go. There was Aurelian Soul Leona. I was pretty impressed with Hush. It did some good work for us. I liked that. Um, you know, got a th got a three two. So there we go. Good. Flipped around our two three scores. Um, Robin was just amazing, right? Robin plus Leona. That was really really powerful. Uh, the uh, you know that that Twisted Fate Gohard deck. You st I think we still just kind of need maybe a little bit more for that kind of matchup. I was actually pretty disappointed with Pill. You know, Pill Cascade wasn't as good for us. I like really like Spacey Sketcher. I don't know. It did it did okay, I guess. It did just fine. Um, I don't know exactly because you know we want to be basically all Targon for Mountain Scryer, and I don't know with like all Targon what you know we could use like some more fight spells from Demacia, but as far as all as far as all Targon goes for that kind of matchup, I don't know. Astral Protection can do some work of, you know, like, whenever they're, they're you know, doing, like, a little bit of damage to one of our larger things, like a Leona or a Robin or, you know, whatever, and then they do the pack your bags, we can, you know, heal at four and then give it plus zero, plus four, so we can keep stuff alive. That's a card that can keep things alive from pack your bags. Zenith Blade with the Overwhelm can help get through all of the small little blockers. Um, but, of course, you know, I don't, I don't really know exactly what we want to take out for that kind of stuff but those are some i don't know those are things to maybe look out for skies descend probably just won't have the ability to cast that often enough it seems kind of easy for them to get rid of bastion but i guess you, you can use bastion in response to the packer bags because then they're probably not going to respond to you know like a lot of their you know like their removal is slow speed the thing is is bastion's just pretty bad against the gohards right so like you have to use it only against like, right in response to uh, pack your bags. 
can't use it any other time. But, um, of course, it's good against, like, Vengeance and Crumble and Ruination, other big removal spells they have. So, yeah, that is an option. But I... I, uh, I like what we had going on here. So there we go. There's some Invoke stuff with Aurelian Soul Leona. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.